you've been yeah. fucking, you know, breathing the American oxygen for a couple for a couple of generations. True. That freedom gets in you. But then again, I worked at a pizza bugs. place one time. I worked at a pizza place one time. Not going to name names, but it was pretty fucking nasty. Was it dude. now Central? <laughs> yeah. Is that where you drowned? That's where I had to kill mice every day. That's where you drowned mice and soda. Every day for like three years. Yeah, every, no, for oh, three months. God. What's I wrong with you? How are you going to kill a mouse, dude, that's on a sticky trap? Smash it. With what? Flip the paper upside down and stomp. As I was doing I was A-Town stomping them. I eight town stomp the first one and I you stomp. You, <laughs> you stomp a mouse's head. I was like, man, this That's is sad, fucking yeah. you feel that little crunch, that tiny little skull dude. I love those guys too. I like I them really too. I really like them. I like them too, but it's like hey, yeah, you got to get off the stick and you can't everyone's like, "Oh, we washed them off the sticky trap." Dude, you can't. Dude. Those limbs are fucking legs are fried. Off. Yeah. yeah, they're totally fucked. You got to stomp them, dude. You got to eight town stomp. <laughs> so then that's when I started drowning them. I, I hold it. I would hold the trap in there and hold them in the cherry wow, coat. They like fucking resist. I didn't look, dude. I did, you could feel that thing fucking wiggling a little bit. <laughs> oh my god, dude! I wanted to get them in like a tiny little car and put like a floss around their neck and fucking <laughs> soprano them, dude. <laughs> Just be like, we're taking a ride. Don't worry about it. You would put them in the shotgun and sit behind them and fucking. Yeah. That'd be sick. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, I was in there all day. Like, God, this place is so fucking foul. That would take it out of me killing mice like that. I would actually Dude, be sad. That was the first thing I did in the morning for literally three months. Yeah, and Come you in. were high, right? Most likely, yeah, yeah, for the most of the part. So it's like I'd walk in, kind of stoned to work, and th- th- it wasn't like I had a manager as a girl. She wouldn't touch it. She'd be like, "Oh my god, ew," and I'd be like. Yeah, right. I'm getting you're getting the big bucks and here I gotta fucking handle matters of life and death, dude. I gotta sit here and fucking you gotta, just a fucking you're lowly man, dude. henchman, dude. You're the ice man. And then I'd have to cook. So I'd fucking like kill mice and go back in, fire up the grill, I'm like, all right, let's fucking let's get this going. So they would when you would hold them in the cherry coke, you could feel them. You feel that a trap stop wiggling. Yeah, trying to they'd fucking... like, they're probably drinking as much as they could. That is for a mouse, dude. That, I know this is your theory. Is that to hit that's with, the best way to kill them. I mean, for a mouse, dude, they probably just open up their mouths and just everything. They probably just ascended to heaven, dude. They probably fucking. They probably opened up their mouth. Honestly, it probably burned the shit out of their eyes, and they went straight to hell. That was hell. You sent those poor mice into hell. Dude. No, they tasted that cherry. They suffered. Think about just that. Just so you didn't want to fucking stomp their head. Stomping the eight town stomping them would have fucking helped. It's. It's just like that. You get you look at the step of, on a mouse's head and check out the bottom I, of your I shoes, know, dude. I know it's horrific. I'm sure. I'm just saying they probably open their mouths, dude. And we're, like mouse, mice don't really get access to soda that much. They're more like crumbs, cheese, vegetables. They're probably like, what's this? <laughs> you think it was a nice? I mean, they form? usually drink. Yeah, they usually drink like you know when like puddles, like cars leak into a puddle. And it's like oily rainbow puddle. Yeah, that's what they drink. That's what they drink. Hold you on. think they drink that? That's what they're drinking on. They're sipping on that. So they fucking sipping ice cold cherry coke. <laughs> <laughs> ice cold cherry coke. <laughs> that'd be sick if they didn't die. If they're just passing out and waking up like an hour later, like I had the most fucked up dream. Dude. Some retarded guy <laughs> held me underwater. <laughs> Some retarded guy dunked me in a delicious drink. <laughs> I don't know. I guess if if I could pick how to die, I think that would be it. Drown in trapped on a glue trap, and then someone just dunks me in soda. And die in my hand. <laughs> I mean, I've actually this isn't more of this isn't really a death thing, but I've had a fantasy for as long as I remember about filling a swimming pool with Jello. Jumping in, seeing what happens. That'd be pretty tight. That'd <laughs> <laughs> be pretty tight. <laughs> yeah, do you could dive right in, or just I wonder if it would like hold you if you'd sink to the bottom. I think you would die. You, th- you think you'd die if you jumped in jello? A pool? A swimming pool, yeah, eight feet. Yeah, you'd drown. I'm not white. I'm not talking about some above ground bullshit. Above I'm talking ground about jelly wrestling. Jello wrestling would be tight. That would be. But f- I'm talking about doing like a cannonball. You're talking jello. cannonball straight into jello. <laughs> How are you going to swim to the top? I don't know. I think you're just stuck and you die. Nah, you fucking you just wiggle out. I don't think I don't know. You're like a worm. You just activate your worm muscles, dude, and burrow through. <laughs> I can I think, get out. I think it would be like quicksand. Jello. Yeah, I think you would just be stuck in there, like just trapped in it. <laughs> <You're> just, <laughs> like, <laughs> from well, like the mosquito in Jurassic Park, <laughs> <they're> just <laughs> stuck in Jello in a swimming pool. That's true. Well, you probably have people on hand. You probably have like handlers. If you have enough money to fill a swimming pool with Jello, I mean, it's like so, a pack yeah, of Jello con- is ninety eight cents. Please contribute to the Patreon. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just let Matt ever get money and see what happens, dude. He's gonna be the there's, first guy to die from diving into a pool of Jello. There's a, definitely a force of the universe against me that like completely wipes. If I have money, it just goes <laughs> goes straight to zero. I, I get wiped out because I'm saving up for Jello pool. 
I always wanted to get billboards of just me being like no it, agenda at all. It's being like, it's like yo, what up? Like yo, what's up? Welcome to Philadelphia, and I'd be like, what the fuck is that? Welcome to Philly. Or just like I would just put pictures of like my family, like a family picture of me and my mom on a billboard. That'd be sick. <laughs> It'd be awesome. Yeah, twelve G's a year, bro. Just a bad, a bad. Why did my voice crack? Just a bad picture of you up there. Yeah, just like a That'd picture, just like a shirt. I was just like a shirtless flex picture, <laughs> or like a candid, like you're not even looking. Someone just snaps a picture of you. Oh, be awesome. That'd be sick to post. It'd be so fun, and people just drive by and be like, "What the fuck is that for?" No way to find out. It's like, I know that guy. No way to find out. That'd be fucking tight. That's all I want to if, do. If the Patreon gets us enough, we'll get a billboard. We need twelve G's, dude, for no reason. But it has to be hot. Yeah, you can't. You can't uh, have agenda. You can't yeah. have an agenda. You should or just, just put, put up like a swastika. A, huh? You should put up a swastika. <laughs> <laughs> just be like, welcome to Philly. We're Nazis. <laughs> Get in here. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to run as the National Socialist Party. It's uh, like... <laughs> you, you would get fucking shot in the head after like probably, a week. Nah, I'd win, dude. You think you could win as a Nazi? No. You, you and Hitler both have very strong public speaking skills. True that. We're both very, we're both highly flatulent, too. Hitler was very flatulent. Flatulent? Yeah, he's flatulent. Yeah. He's flatulent. He's very flatulent. <laughs> he was flatulent. He's flatulent in six different languages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's uh you I could see you running for national socialism. National socialism. Did you see the the uh, taxi socialist. driver who got in trouble for wearing a Nazi armband? As he should, but go ahead. <laughs> what happened? He was here? this Dominican guy. Oh, and nice. he was like, Innocent. No, oh, no, I'm a national socialist. It's different, man. He's like, that's the Nazi symbol. He's like, that's what you call it. He's like, Well, what about the six million Jews who died in the Holocaust? He's like, that's not true. He's like, well, if you do a little research, he's like, are you saying that didn't happen? He goes, I'm not going to speak on that right now because that's a long conversation I cannot have. And they're like, well, do you regret wearing the Nazi armband? He goes, I regret, I regret mixing business with pleasure. <laughs> uh, yes, dude. Imagine he pulled you, he pulled up, he's wearing a Nazi armband. It's just, <laughs> he's like, like, no, I'm, a, he's like, I'm a democratic socialist. And he's, and he's, or national socialist, yeah, yeah, yeah. excuse me. And he's Dominican. Yeah. I'd be like, dude, that's the sickest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> it was pretty the sick. The fucking black Hispanic Nazi. That's fucking sick. <laughs> that guy's the best ever. He was the interview and was, so and funny. And what was he doing, driving a cab? Or he was driving Uber? a cab. It was a cab. It was a while ago, I think. And he was-